Hello and welcome to Antipode D&D, a show in which a bunch of Australians play Dungeons and Dragons in a setting partly inspired by prehistoric Australia and New Zealand. I am David. I am the Dungeon Master. I am joined by April, Kynwen, Doug and Zindi. And we are picking up straight off, straight... We are picking up... We are continuing from last week, where <laughs> our players uh, committed a bona fide act of piracy. They boarded Oops. the convict transport Newland uh, magically and uh, tied up the captain, murdered the bosun, uh, yep. slaughtered the marines who rushed to aid the bosun. It's a very bloody ship right now. Uh, released all of the convicts, intimidated the sailors into uh, not fighting them or jumping overboard and fleeing uh, and have now effectively taken control of this ship uh, handing a uh, temporary command at least over to an orc named Gab who uh, has uh, taken their advice and is ordering that the ship be put to anchor out in the bay and uh, so that it will not uh, arrive with reinforcements or to confuse matters while they try to effect a change of government in Liberty Bay. Uh, now, we basically finish the last session with uh, a few of the other convicts, specifically Rima, uh, Vargad, and a uh, young female drow uh, uh, who you haven't uh, really met yet. She's barely uttered a word but she seems eager to help uh, but they have expressed that they are uh, whatever you have planned they're happy to help um, and you also said you wanted to loot the ship yes yes please yes okay just in case there's any useful MacGuffins you know how it do so as you come back down below deck and make for the captain's cabin which is where your uh, portal is uh, and you find most that of the blood. you find that convicts uh, that you have released are already ransacking all of these cabins. Uh, hey, for, uh, <laughs> oi! <laughs> uh, you left them. Stuff. You left them unsupervised below decks for more than thirty seconds. This was, I'm mm. sorry, bound to happen. <laughs> Did we? I would have done it too. It's fine. Wasn't Todd downstairs still kind of half eating one of the marines? Oh yeah, wasn't Todd and um and Gwen, Gwen right? down? Yeah, they've been down there. below the whole time. Yeah, I feel like we didn't go on deck. Okay. Thought we did. Gwen would have been chatting with the little pirate maniac. Mm. Hey, but either way, I guess they're probably yeah. not going to stop any active looting. What I'll if... be honest, if, yeah. if, I, if Gwen saw a bunch of people gorging themselves upon the riches of the dead, I, I don't think she would care unless she wanted anything. Uh, and in general, it is just... Uh, some coins and uh, obviously below uh, below deck uh, on the lower deck you can hear uh, shouting cheering and laughing you get the impression that they've found the grog uh, wow good for them which of course the convicts have been denied for this entire voyage mm -hmm. um, in the great cabin you'll see uh, that someone has already come in and smashed the cabin's drinks cabinet and removed pretty much its entire contents. Our also reinforcements valid. will be wasted, but that's fine. That's all right. Uh, however, uh, however, yeah, you, wasn't. You, oh, go on. No, you do have. Uh, so you do currently have three convicts enlisted uh, or you know, volunteering to assist you with, with what you, whatever you need, um, though they're waiting to hear what that is. Um, and also, it's entirely up to you. You've got a, a basically a, a ship full of people, um, <clears throat> and you can decide whether you want them here or with you, what's going to be easier. So you're in the cabin with your three allies. What do you do? Did... Did anyone loot the bosun's cabin yet? Yeah, that's where she has her gold, right? Ah, yeah. Not okay. Not care. Not um, care. Who's going to loot the bosun's cabin? Yeah, that'll be fine. It's got to be 
it's gotta be Gwen, right? Like who else? <laughs> okay, <do>? sure. <laughs> uh, Gwen, can you give me an investigation check, please? I certainly can. Investigation. What I get? <laughs> Five. Um, Five. May I use can my inspiration? <laughs> Um, no, that's not worth it on the bosun. You can't use your inspiration. Yes, I won't stop you. I feel like. And one of us come with her and help up. her. <laughs> for advantage. It's a bit late for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> all right, that's fine. I'll just go with the five. five. Um, all you find. She was working on a shitty ship. How much goods could she have? Yep. All you find is uh, a so coin purse, uh, in a, uh, basically a drawer uh, that's under. Uh, her cot um, and it contains uh, a mere four gold pieces oh gold what a she ain't sad got paid yet. She didn't have before yeah sad state of being uh gwendolyn will pocket all four of those golds as uh reparations on compensation yeah. for the beating and also you know the trauma of watching her get her throat ripped out. Hmm. Very distressing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So in the cabin, uh, in the great cabin, where the bosun's um, corpse is still lying and blood has spread everywhere, um, Rima uh, will say to the four of you, okay, so... What's the plan? I mean, I, I assume you uh, assume you've got a, a bigger objective than all this. So, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, man. Uh, yes. What are What are we doing? We don't have another copy of the plan, do we? <laughs> no. I've only we got the wet one. Affecting a, a regime change over on the oh, well, not the mainland, but you know. At Liberty in Liberty Bay. Bay, man, we're staging a coup. We're liberating Liberty Bay. She says, oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. That is perfect. She's Ooh. always wanted to do a revolution. Yes. She's always wanted to. <laughs> See, I, wa <laughs> I was wondering, like, when I got arrested for, you know, all the things I'd been saying and then put on a boat, I was thinking, how am I going to, like, do all the things I was talking about when I wasn't in Heron's Poach to do them anymore, but now I realise I'm supposed to do them there. That's yes. it. That's my purpose. Oh. What, um, yeah. The, the goddess. Oh, the goddess? The mother. Different person. Uh, the, <laughs> the mother is always very good about this sort of thing. So, we are exactly hoping to retain some infrastructure here. Yeah. Um, yes, I mean, we're not going to simply blow the whole place up. Uh, uh, Varga, only metaphorically. Uh, Varga, the uh, big Goliath, says, I understand your concern, but uh, Rima uh, certainly does, well, she certainly does enjoy lighting fires. Uh, her grand objective all this time has been, um, well, she... As she eloquently puts it, she likes to, or she hopes to, eat the rich. Uh, not literally, I believe, but... Okay. I think it's fine. Ken, you don't do Ken. I was told Debbie to be like, ease up. Ease up. <laughs> <laughs> no We're time to talk about it, man. about uh, consumption of... Are we having this discussion again? <laughs> no, no, you can bite it. You gotta spit it out, man. Don't eat it. <laughs> that just seems wasteful to me. Uh, if you're gonna butt, you may as well swallow. I have what had this conversation with Todd. I'm not going over it again, man. I just got him to start spitting his food out. It's only strange if they look like you. <laughs> Everyone else's fair food. You really need to see me, you know, rip his throat out and then swallow it, man, because I'm not gonna do that. I don't need I meat, have man. seen you, you know, with a throat in your mouth. And then I spat it out, man. At that point, it's just a wine tasting. While you're having this conversation, and Rima and Varga are sort of exchanging looks, uh, the young dro woman has... Uh, she's walked over to the portal and is... Oh. 
She's just sort of yep. poking her head through, and she turns back to the four and she says, uh, "Excuse me, where does this go?" Oh, that's our home base. Oh, and that's the captain. There he is. See. Also, he's the captain there. is in there. Please yeah, don't there. murder him. Yeah, without do discussing it with the group first. Do not agitate the captain. <laughs> okay. We may need him. We're not sure. But yeah, where is it? Liberty Bay. Oh, well, that's convenient. It's rather. Did you not know where you were going? Um, Vargad says, oh, we knew where we were going. I don't think she knew where the portal came from. That is all. Oh, that makes well, sense it leads me, into yeah. the kitchen, quite a nice inn. You yes. know, if we, uh, if we head into that portal there, uh, we're going to find someone who probably has a better idea of what to do with y'all than perhaps we do. Oh, that's right. We didn't actually come up with this plan. We're just sort of jumping on something. Some other people started. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, shall we where, go? Uh, where the sort of front in. wave, so to speak. Um, should we go tell Waratar? And yes. Uh, yeah, Remus says, "All right, lead the way." Okay. Okay. Uh, sure we go. I, feel I feel confident that we have set that boat up for success. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they've got they've got the hot oak guy. It's fine. It's got really the hot oak and the little microcosm of Liberty Bay, right? We've affected yeah. a regime change, and now we're just leaving. Yeah, the most just... important thing is that if it catches fire, we will be on the mainland, and we will just sort of watch that happen from a safe distance. Hopefully, it doesn't catch fire. Yeah, you expect it to reasons. catch fire? Yeah, we're where taking, did that come from? We're taking the incendiary gnome with us. We're taking yeah. the one we know is an incendiary gnome with us. We didn't right. check in and see what everyone else was on the boat for. That's true. That's true. No, you're so right, Bestie. Hmm. That's fine. That's <laughs> probably fine. We didn't. We didn't take a. For the record, the, the the incendiary gnome is she a is, halfling. Or she's a, a halfling. Yep. Oh, she's a fine. halfling. Okay. Sorry, I'm the incendiary <laughs> gnome in Pathfinder. So. <laughs> Uh, uh, Duncan ever so briefly looks out the window and considers swimming back instead of jumping in the portal but he's aware that time is something of a critical thing at this point so he steps through the portal so, we have officially kicked shit yeah. off yes at yeah. this point the sun is still uh, it, it's only about three or four in the afternoon um, so there's still yeah, so time we're going to have smoko before we uh, launch yeah. the revolution <laughs> so you, you, a lovely yeah. dinner you go yeah. through the portal you head back to the Wicked Pixie Tavern. Um, Is, are we closing L Portal or leaving L Portal open? How long does it stay open? How does that work? Until it goes too far uh, away, but, right? Yeah, until you move it or until it uh, is moved more than a mile away from your know, one we point should, to the uh, other. 24 hours is the far? maximum. Whole Good. Time we should probably that, close it, right? I don't really want a random sailor coming through. Yeah, it seems like we probably shouldn't give people of unknown quality uh, mm. a free range into our rebellion. Yeah, I just want to just close that, close that bad boy up. Uh, I will close the portal and throw the stick back to Drench. Thanks, Mia. Thank you. Yeah, the others don't know how we popped in and out, so like they don't need to know that there's a. No. Wait, okay. we didn't do that. Portal Keep is the gone. mystery alive. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So one charge has been expelled. No, two charges. Um, two. I'm going to be generous and ask, what do you do with the captain before you close the portal? What are we going to do with the captain? He's still in the Wicked Pixie, right? Yeah. I feel like it'd be a True. bit of a death sentence to put him back on the boat before we yeah. close the portal. I, I assume I'll we'll not keep him that. on our side. That seems likely, right? Continuing in yeah. his hogtied formation. Yeah. Maybe he's got some information about safety. What? I don't know. Should we just leave him? We should just tell Wurritar. Maybe she could lock him down the cellar or something. Um... Uh, as you're having the conversation, Waratah appears. She's obviously heard 
yeah, that you've returned. Um, We're covered in blood still. <laughs> and uh, Waratah will say, Oh, wow, look at you. Um, mission successful? Eight. Yeah, man. Yes. Um, and she looks at your three guests and says, um, welcome. Uh, uh, this is my tavern. I'm Waratah. I, I run, I run the place. Uh, yes, I'm a fairy and, um, okay. This is happening. This is definitely happening. All right. Um, no going back now. I certainly hope yeah. so. I mean, this is Rima, Vaget, and Slick, was it? Uh, she says, uh, yes, I don't remember giving you my name, but yes, my name is Slick. At least that's what I'm called. Must have heard it somewhere, yeah. <laughs> I got big ears, man. Um, Jensen knows soul everyone, flies. even when he really hasn't met them. <laughs> He's never met you, but he knows you. Yeah. You don't know him, vibe. but he knows you. Mm -hmm. Uh... And so Waratah says, all right, um, so we've got some more, uh, she looks up at the Goliath who just completely towers over her and says, uh, muscle. Um, so. Yeah. So now there's about, uh, what, eight, eight of us against, uh, a hundred. Quite reasonable. Yeah, but plus all like those knights and stuff, and that's at least like ten. Uh, the size I can count says. Uh, so uh, we're still a bit vague on the details here. I understand the plan is to uh, end uh, the oppressive regime that runs this place. Yes. And how exactly are we doing that? We are You're going. Right. To convince the cormorant to yeah, man. step down or die. It's like a bird that the charge or something. Um, Waratah says uh, they mean commandant. At which point Varga, you know, does a oh, yeah, there's a moment he thought there was a cormorant <laughs> in charge, which confused <laughs> him a bit. <laughs> I hope it is. I really hope it's a cormorant. It's a magical fantasy land. You have to be specific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah right. it could be a cormorant. Yes, yeah, so it's not that weird. Aracocra. Like... Aracocra cormorant. <laughs> hmm. We're near the ocean. It makes sense. There's, there's a twist. I do you love the idea of a seabird being in charge of a coastal... Yeah. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> so Waratah says... Right, so my understanding was the next thing to do is basically wait until nightfall, wait until, you know, everyone's let their guard down, then sneak into the Commandant's house and have a conversation with him. That's right. That was the plan. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds good. We should, we can uh, talk, but we can hash out those details or maybe like a snack. All right. Um, oh, and she looks at the convicts and says, uh, if you three, um, I can, we don't have uh, many clothes. We can offer you some basics though. And uh, if you're looking to arm yourselves, we've got some supplies as well. Uh, as, soon, as soon as she says arm yourselves, you can see that both Rima and Slick, you know, have her full attention. Um, yes, it, it might make sense for you to be here as a, a security for Waratah, at least for the short term. And then, you know, uh, help ensure a peaceful transition of power in the long term. And Varkad says, oh, so you don't want us to help you with your persuasion? Oh, we'll accept help. I mean, maybe not the cormorant part, but maybe like, there's like, oh, do I say the word like gunpowder silo in front of her? I just don't know. I would not. I would not. There are a lot of soldiers who will need convincing after the cormorant. We would appreciate your assistance with that. Or maybe, maybe like, I don't know how sneaky you are. Maybe like some sort of sabotage somewhere else. Or maybe like locking some doors. I don't really know There's your skills. There's a lot of jobs set. to be done, actually. There's a lot. There's we a break lot. it down. Um, we can talk about it. Uh, Slick says, 
I know how to not be noticed. Okay, uh, April speaking to she too. Um, uh, do we want her to like, um, like, like wet the gunpowder reserves or something if she's sneaky like that? I don't know how she get water in, but it'd be nice to have someone do it just for when they are potentially caught on and try to mount a defense. <laughs> mm. Some wet powder would be nice, uh, or like stuff up their guns or something. She says, Not all of them. Uh, Maybe I could just uh, find a way to bar the magazine. Oh, yeah, that's a good way too. That's a great idea, man. All right. Well, I need you to. Uh, I've never been here, obviously. So uh, we uh, have a map. Let's go to the map. It's like a video game. <laughs> I like video. I love so video game. We are mm. back to David Wenham pointing. Uh, at things. <laughs> mm -hmm. And. I also like David Wenham. True. Everybody tap on his Gilead. I've met him. He's quite nice, actually. <laughs> yeah, he looks I've like he would be. I'm so yeah. glad that he had eye contact with him all day once. It was mm. a whole thing. Mm. Nice. He studied um, acting at the same uni I studied acting at. He was just there a yeah. bit earlier than I was. Oh, Rad. So he came back for you the. You met um, him pre-fame. Oh no, after. Wow. It was he was certainly sea change fame by then. Um, oh yeah. But oh, sea change. This is Jesus, pre. This is unlocked. pre Lord of the Rings. Mm. Yeah. My mum loved. And then sea he got change. back. He's like, I'm sick of playing beloved rapscallions. I'm gonna be the worst man you've ever met in every TV show going forward. <laughs> <laughs> he was good in Getting Square. I didn't see that one. That's oh, very. He just plays a lot good. of like. Just he's very a, evil man. He's a complete scrunkle. In <laughs> love that uh, in in getting square, but uh, very definitely do recommend that one. Scrunkle hmm. is not a word I've heard before. He scrunkly uh, scrum, is uh, yeah the scrumble bunkle. Ugly and scruffy, but you'll also love him a lot. Okay, like a cheeky little guy. Just a little scrunkly dude. I just assumed it was some variant of MILF, but for uncles. And no. Like, oh, no. No. <laughs> no. Like, like, like you could you give such uncle energy. No. So, no. Gargoyle is scrumble, a, a scrunkle. A yeah, he's a, little, he's a scruggly little guy. Yeah. So a scrotum. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, yes. an endearing yes. scrotum. A cheeky endearing scrotum, yes. Yeah. Hmm. Here is the Wicked Pixie. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, there it is. This is the... Uh, prison barracks is where all of the convicts will be locked up after sunset. Magazine is here. Commandant's house is up here on the hill. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Uh, yeah, Slick says, Oh, I can, uh, yeah. I could probably find a way to um, get in there and either find a way to stop anyone else from getting in or find a way to set it off if uh, somebody tries to get in. I could booby trap it, for example. That's fun. Uh, yeah. You could always wet the gunpowder, too. Just, just in case, because like Liberty Bay will need like, like when we like, I said I nearly said renovate it. When we renovate Liberty Bay, um, <laughs> they're gonna need gunpowder too and stuff. So I guess setting it off gets rid of it. But if we wet it, then we can keep it. I guess it I depends on who looks like who's wedding ownership politically of Liberty Bay. If it's people we think are shifty, we can set off the guns and run. <laughs> Um, Avargad says, uh, you're not planning on staying here? Oh, that was kind one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think Gwendolyn said that. Um, so at this point we sort of have a plan. So Slick's going to be the one, um, finding a way to neutralize, 
uh, the magazine and the armory associated with it, uh, mm -hmm. hopefully without drawing a lot of attention in the process. Good luck, um, Slick. I will be rolling for her, though. Um, uh, meanwhile, Varged and Rima, um, unless you give the mother instructions, they are content to uh, hold the Wicked Pixie. Um, but you can Ooh, see... I, th I think we should feed them because like, they haven't eaten in a while in that's, a good food That's true, capacity. and you have just emerged into the kitchen. Um, yeah. And uh, as soon as Gwendolyn has the thought, I think we should feed them, you see that Rima is already stuffing her mouth <laughs> with just, you know, not with raw meat, but with just, you know, ingredients. She is not waiting for anybody to cook and prepare anything. She just wants food. Yeah, five cheese wheels deep. Hungry little lady. Mm -hmm. um, so the question is, is there anything else you want to do before nightfall and before you make your way to the commandant's house? Do we need to case it? Do we need to go for a walk? Pretend we're doing a promenade? The little... Casing it would probably help. Jaunt. And we do have time Ooh. at daylight. We'll, we'll promenade down to the to the house just to have a look see. Yep. Get some ice cream. Maybe so. That's for you to get decide. Some get some iced creams from Baskin <laughs> yep. and Robin. Yeah. So, and they oh, yeah. They here. just they just set up a I mean, shop. Just set up say, a shop. I was going to say Hot. it it's been what 5 years surely they're franchising by now. I hope their franchising doesn't um, last. I have they, they franchised. Did well, they were in Heron Perch as um, well, so it makes sense. Not it's here. clearly stuff going on. I'm oh, afraid that, there's no Baskin and yeah, Robin that, here. That is something that perhaps you can make happen in the future. Is there a Wendy's? We need to invest. <laughs> is there anything? A cold rock? Um, McDonald. <laughs> Please, we're desperate. I guess it's not a it's not a tourist town. No, it's, it's really colony. not. Basically. <laughs> Um, the Wicked Pixie has the best food in town. There's not even a nice box in here. Um, oh, no McCafe. Yeah. Uh, that is to say, the Wicked Pixie has the best food in town besides that. What the besides what the Commandant is served. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, okay, well... Um, well, if we want we... ice cream, we're going to have to break into his kitchen. And see if he has ice creams. All right, let's do it. All right, um, show, uh, show you, like, or you, like, look at the place before you, like... Try to get in, like, see, like, windows and stuff. Like, how are we going to get in and stuff? Like, I can turn into a little mouse and hide inside someone's pocket. Because I'm kind of loud and I'm not very stealthy. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I think that's a good idea. Okay. So, uh, you're basically going to start just walking down the road and looking at from, you know, the public street so you can just... Get your yeah. eyes on we, it. I mean, we could admire tourists. the roses. Okay. Yeah, we'll just be tourists. All right. I'll uh, put you on the map and then activate it. Okay. So, this map is, an, is a bit of an experiment. This is an isometric mm -hmm. map. I'm using a plugin. Which enables, oh, tactics, let's go! which enables oh, fancy. isometric movement and isometric measurement. Oh, wow. Um, Look at this big old house. I love that. Yeah. So, this is his house. It's not a perfect one-to-one -one copy of the Commandant's house in Port Arthur. It's just inspired by it. I, um, the Commandant's house in Port Arthur does not have a defensive keep he was not that paranoid no, the governor there was not that paranoid i think um Port but pretty far down there yeah there you have it uh, you will immediately see um a pair of marines stationed oh, fade in. look at that uh so they they are Fancy. stationed on the sort of veranda in front uh, of the house um we can we can murder them very. I was going to say, do we need to take them out? Like, we can talk about this. Yeah, that's helpful. We could just quietly. We're just, we're just looking. We're mm -hmm. just looking. I mean, are, we, are we going in the front door, though? Or are we. Well, that's what we're here to find out, right? Yeah. yeah okay, so, so it looks like. 
Can can we speak yeah. to a uh, drench? Are you currently in a form? No, no, no. He's a he's a boy. He's he's just big big boy. <laughs> Dude, I can like. What do you need me to turn into? I can't fly, uh, man. It's too scary. No, I I was just wondering if 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 we were communicating with drench during this portion, <laughs> or if yes, he was yes, just we are. a little rat nestled in Gwendolyn's bosom. He'd be able to understand you if he was a rat. He just couldn't talk back. <laughs> You just do that bulgy eyes thing at you. Yeah. All Makes right, it happy. so... Front door. Uh, court, courtyard door. Is there any sort of dungeon mast here? Is yeah. there any sort of... Is this just open? Is there a gate there? Or is just... That's it. Uh, that is open for people uh, to walk through, it seems, but... Okay. Um, See. You're not sure so, whether that would be... Is it just the two guards? That you can, can see we from see here. Else? Mm, can we hear okay. any? <laughs> Give me a perception check, please. Can we smell? Yeah, yeah I'm going to Can you just vibe check on the house? Is there a guard tapping him on vibe? the shoulder right now? <laughs> I'm like, excuse me, why are you... Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, these dice are terrible. Three. <laughs> uh, 17 for Duncan on the perception okay. uh, vibe. You sure are getting numbers today, Carmen. I'm not. I wasn't last week either. Mm-mm-mm. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna perceive. I'll perceive, because you know, Todd looking around. Guidance on I me or you? The nose. No, me. Oh. Well, I got, a, I got, a, I got an Plus. eighteen. Todd has perception Eight. powers. He perceives. I got ten. So okay. Todd, Todd knows all. So. Gwen and Drench, you don't see anything in addition, um, but uh, Todd and Duncan, uh, you notice there is a guard um, just coming around the wall back here. Uh, It looks like he might actually be patrolling. And there is another one on top of the defensive tower. Okay. Are they just, they just look like normie guys, right? These aren't like defense wizards. No, they all just look like armed soldiers with muskets and sabers. Oh, that's easy. We, we can kill them. Uh, and this is just like garden in the middle here, isn't it? Yeah. No, um, a drench at least will notice that, uh, there are bushes and flowers, all of which appear to have been imported. These are not <gasps> native to the area. Son of a bitch. These are, not, na- these are not native to the area, man. That is, is really bad. It is really bad for the environment. Stuff can get uh, really this, out of hand. Has he got a lawn? Has this guy got fucking lawn? <laughs> this man has grass. grass. He's got that buffalo grass. Uh, huh? Duncan's uh, going to walk in and examine the garden. But really, have a look around. Okay. See if there's anything else I can see from, like, in the garden area. All right. Is that, is that a public garden, or is that just for people, like, who are going to see the comorant? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't... I, I, I'm not from here. I don't understand no how things coming. work above the water. And... <laughs> I used to do that when I moved to Sydney. I'd lived there for, like, five years, and I'd take my license out when I was fair dodging. And I'd be like, oh, because I had an NT license, and I'd be like, oh, I, ju- I just moved here. I didn't know. I did that in Melbourne on the tram every time. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm from Western Australia. We don't have trams. Yeah, funny. So anyway, the soldier we'll do that at some point. who is patrolling <laughs> sees um, a big fish man walk into the garden, uh, yeah. walks down, he's keeping his musket. Um, it's not aimed at you. He's not currently taking on a threatening posture, but mm-hmm. he does say, uh, sir, sir, this is a private garden. Oh, my apologies. I'm, uh, I'm not from here. Uh, what do you call these things here? These little colourful... They look almost like coral polyps hanging off these big green things. Um, I don't know. It's not my... So, he's pointing at a plant. Yeah, he's pointing at a flower, basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's flower, man. You know what a flower is. I do prefer the word polyp. <laughs> so can you please return to the, to the road? Of course. My apologies. Um... Did I get a chance to see anything else? Um, I'll get another 
perception check from you. Uh, you get the impression that people just know you don't walk around the Commandant's garden. <laughs> uh, 15 on the garden vibe check. Okay, 15. Certainly you can see that there are windows up here and up there. Mm -hmm. um, there is this... Looks like a basement under the house. Um, yeah. From where you are, you can't see. It's possible it doesn't actually lead into the house. It might just be a, a, an understory for all intents and purposes. And there is also another door here at the back, mm -hmm. um, which probably leads to a kitchen or something like that. And you could uh, clearly see these outbuildings at the back. They are probably a combination of... Uh, you know, there, there will be a woodshed among them. There will probably be some servants' quarters. Um, probably uh, an outhouse as well. Mm. Cool. Um, All right. But uh, from where you were, you didn't actually get to see whether... You didn't get to see anybody inside the house through the windows. That's a shame. Oh, well. That's all right. In that case, then I will make a big show of wandering over to this bit, which I assume is on the public roadway, and staring at the flowers for a little while. Cool. Right. Shall we waddle back to the to, yeah. to the inn? We've and seen we as much over. as we can without rousing more yeah. suspicion. Yeah, taking in taking in what we can see, and we can make a plan at the inn. We got four guards. So uh, nobody else sort of rolls out on patrol. I'll, yeah. Um, if we watch for a little bit, there's not like a secret sixth and seventh guy hanging out behind the outhouses or anything. Uh, oh, you can hang around. You can loiter for a while if you want to. I am fascinated by these flowers, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Wendell we're going to get in trouble for loitering. Sun? I want to get in trouble for loitering. I'm going to get in trouble after about like, well there's nothing else to do in this fucking town if you're not you know being actively oppressed <laughs> or, or actively actually. oppressing Quite. <laughs> the uh after about 30 seconds of duncan uh examining the flowers uh which includes some sunflowers Aww. uh the two soldiers at the front are now very firmly watching him and they're not saying anything yet, but you get the impression that their hackles are up. Hey, man, I think it might be time to go. But look at these things. They're so bright and yeah. colorful. They're, they're really bright very and colorful. pretty. They're not native, though, man. So, like, not cool. So should I rip them up? Not right now, but afterwards we can talk about it, okay? I'm not above eco-terrorism. Right, right. I've put spikes in trees. Now do it again, man. <laughs> All right, well, Duncan will wander back at everyone's insistence. Okay. Uh, so you can head back to the Wicked Pixie. Um, I'll leave this map up, though, so that mm -hmm. you can sort of plan around it. Um, yeah, we'll make a sketch of it when we get back to the Wicked Pixie. Yeah. Uh, incredibly accurate much, sketch. Much more crudely. <laughs> <laughs> which, okay. which, which one of us is the one who draws things? Oh, I mean, Drake can draw. Let's go. Yes. Gwendolyn can write. Drench can draw. The other two can Corporate. help. Corporate. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, um, Bill Hook and hard. then Todd can sign things. Mm. Everything we have is just covered in fur. <laughs> fur, it's wet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, everything's just covered in wet and fur. And it just yep. smells a little bit like flowers because Gwendolyn will just we... tuck a little. <laughs> I think a little, all of us smell like wet blonde, dog. A little bit of perfume. It smells like wet dog and fish and then Gwendolyn. <laughs> she always That's smells nice. a little bit like Jasmine. Nice. All right, so... Puts the drawing down on the table. What are we thinking? Well, we need to quietly kill this one first. 
Oh, we just that can't one kill seems the like okay. the easiest. Okay, we're just going in there. Do you want to negotiate with them? Warwick Hart. I, I thought we were going to sneak past the guard. Yeah. I don't know, man. Well, I've never snuck into a house before. Warwick Hart uh, immediately says, um, only if we have to. That's what I'm saying, man. Well, my theory is that we, we have to kill at least one of them in order to get in. But won't the other guards on patrol, like, see the body and then, like, raise the alarm, man? We'll put it in a bush. There's always a dumpster nearby when you've got a... Long grass is extremely good at concealing the dead. What long grass? Oh, yes, yeah, so it was quite short. There's we'll buffalo, put them behind man. a wall. We'll put them behind here. These ones are all out of sight line. Hang on. Where are we aiming to go in is my question. Let's, I mean, let's... the back door seems like a the back door. Good option. Okay. So how do we get past the front the is guards? very heavily... Well, we, we could come over the wall over here because uh-huh. we're all quite big. Can you ping on the map? I tried. <laughs> you gotta hold it down to ping. There you go. Oh, there we go. So yeah, around yeah. here. You know, would they? Could... Would they be able to see us? I mean, not if we're it's quiet. Kind of, kind of a wall there, there. Should we come around like the back, back way? Like, I mean, we like, could go further back. Is that accessible? Like, Dungeon like Master? Then... Yep, let me just uh, double check on the map. It'd be right. There's not much around for the Cormorant's house. Yeah, there's basically a narrow alleyway leading up that way um, with a few more buildings on the other side, but there is an alley, uh, you know, a passage that you could walk up. Like, do we, should we take out the take out as in maybe not kill? The patrolling guard? I mean, Only? Yeah, you could just bonk him on the head, but again, mm. uh, bonking someone on the head does quite frequently lead to their untimely demise. We could hog time. Um, Safety. Uh, Waratah says, wait, 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 I think I know. Um, I'll be right back. And she dashes down to the uh, supply room. Oh man, she's, she's got, got a dis- I was just about to say, has she got a distracting rock? Please. Uh, no, but she comes back uh, with a wand. Um, uh, and she yeah. says, this can uh, cast a spell uh, that puts people to sleep. Oh, well, I mean, spell? that would also work. The spell is called sleep. Wow, it's crazy. To cast it, do we simply point it and say sleep? Can any can anyone use the wand or does it have to be a magic magic? Uh, it, say, doesn't it's requi- be a it doesn't require it, uh, uh, attunement. It is just a wand that anyone can use. Um I can't actually remember whether I whether this is an item or whether I meant to homebrew it and forgot to. But a wand of sleep? Wonder of sleep sounds right. It sounds right. Sounds like something D&D would have. Surely. Stupid sure. things about Pathfinder 1. You can only use the scroll or wand if it's in your spell list. Yeah. Um, so. Fuck that noise. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically, uh, I can't find the item, but um, just take note that it is a wand that can cast the spell sleep um, at... Uh, what level? Third level? Yeah, let's make it third level. That's pretty third. good. Third level is pretty good. Um, and you can oh, do wow. it. It has uh, four charges and regains 1d4 per day. Okay. Another stick, man. Who wants to hold the stick? Oh, I mean, man, we, we are collecting so many well. sticks. Look, man, I didn't want to say anything, but if I could keep it in my main, I would have really liked that. <laughs> um, Quite a useful place to keep things. It is. Uh, Waratah says, uh, so the, um, I'm not sure whether I... Uh, this was sort of given to me, so I'm not sure they might want it back afterwards, but 
I don't know. Did they give it to you or did they we lend it to you? We can take it as a loan. Um, you can see she's trying not to mention who it is, but she says, um, friend that you've met um, wanted me to be safe. And so she gave, well, she got this from someone and then gave it to me. Oh, um, I see what you're saying. Okay, yeah. hey, we won't break it. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, Todd, do you, do you want to use it? I just figured you're the one sneaking around, so you'd be in the best position to, you know, wham. Get him. You know? I mean, he looks a little bit perplexed, but I'm sure if instructed on how to use a thing, he can use a thing. Yep, it's... What, what would Todd do if we threw it? <laughs> First of all, rude. <laughs> Second. Secondly, run Second. and get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Drench just has to shake his mane and all the sticks will fall out. It'll be like heaven. So, plan then. Are we, so we're sending yep. Todd over the wall. We're going to yep. either Todd and Nate or sleep this guy. Maybe maybe sleep. I think the hyena yipping and yapping might come out. So I, mm, yeah, he might get a bit snarly yeah. if he does have to eat a bro. So we'll be Did we quiet. want to then in in gotcha, case gotcha of uh ingress egress drop a hither thither portal here on the back of this outhouse. Mm -hmm. oh. And then drop one like here. So that we don't have to try and stealth across the courtyard with me in full chainmail. <laughs> that would be a really nice idea. Only because yeah, only one of us has to get into who's the yeah, right. Um, I mean, we could even no, we'd have to take at least a guard out. Because if I polymorph, all my shit polymorphs with me. I can mm. unpolymorph inside and then do it. No. Up to right. up to you guys. Todd, yeah. do you want to? I mean, you could do that from anywhere, as long as you could That's find true. a way in. I mean, we could put the portal here even. And then oh. do it. And then have a yeah, nice chat with Cormorant in a depends. in a quiet corner of the Wicked Pixie instead of mm. in his bedroom. Yeah, we can maybe, drag him maybe. in here. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. Oh, I forgot to mention while you were in Away front, from the guards. while you were in front of the house, you saw the uh, crest of the Commodore's. Uh, it looks like it's probably his family crest rather than. Um, yeah, anything official. Um, is and it, it, it has a pelican. A, a, pe hey! a pelican. Just to confuse you all. Okay. Pelicans, pelicans are terrifying, man. I... Yeah, he's a pelican, he's but he's a cormorant. It's real confusing, man. A lot of seabirds involved in politics. <laughs> I'm learning. Alrighty. Uh, let's have a look. I mean, yeah, I could turn into like a mouse or something. I don't know how to get in though. Or it's uh, we turn. Aren't we mice go... flatten themselves and like scooch under a door. Yeah, I don't know how door construction was back in D and D times. It would be not a like amazing. Uh, a mouse would absolutely <laughs> not be able to get under a door. Even a rat would, because um, they can compress their rib cages and shit. So yeah, a mouse or a rat would be. Fine. And you could be something smaller. You could be a cockroach. You could be a cockroach. You could be a dormouse. A huntsman spider. They're very good Ooh. at slipping between things. They're, they're very sneaky, sneaky. And they're right. cool. Yeah, they're so squiggly. And they're derpy little darlings. Whoops, I forgot to hang on to the ceiling. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's not great until it happens to fall on you. Yeah. Um, just an yeah, intimate Joey. moment. Shall I turn into a spider and just kind of wriggle in there and pop a portal? Sure. So if Todd's going in, and then you can just sort of cling to Todd. And yeah, then Todd can get me close. Across. Or does Todd want to stay with you? Hmm. Where should we I put mean... the second portal? The first portal. In here or out there? Are we doing the portal in the Wicked Pixie and then the second one in the Cormorant's house? Should we do that? Yeah, right. I'm just That's worried about... Because then Todd will also have to still lockpick the door to get in. 
and use the portal. Are we sending Todd or are we just letting you use the portal? Like you. Oh, portal, yeah, I guess if you're just the portal. Yeah, you because if, yeah. In. Okay, if you yeah. go under the door. Yeah. That negates the need for Todd. Exactly. Put a portal yeah, inside, exactly. you don't need the door lock, the door picked. Exactly. We don't have to touch yeah. anything and jingle any keys. Remember, mm. we've already established okay. also that you can just shoot it through a window. Mm. Mm. That's oh, yeah. true too. <clears throat> Although uh, Drench will be slightly more conspicuous outside the house. True. Mm. One would imagine. <laughs> I can go invisible. And I can still wild shape again too, so. Well, I was like, fast. Drench is the stealthiest boy. I like this. I like this. Yeah, just wait till I roll a one and fall over. <laughs> yeah, well. Or I roll a one and I lose my grip on the ceiling. <laughs> God, <don't be>. Yeah. <laughs> no one's going to like roll, a helmsman spider roll for on their face. Roll for okay. Huntsman. All right. Okay, I can turn into a little spider and do the portal trick. I think cool. that's quite good. Okay. And then one. we come, and then you guys come in, and then we yes. get the corner, and then we bring Grab it the back, corner. and then close the portal. Because then they'll be like, whoa, where'd you go, man? And they'll have no Correct. idea. Rad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Plan like in nature. All right. So you have a plan. Mm -hmm. Um, will you be doing anything else before you hatch this plan? Were mm -hmm. we hatching it just then? I thought hatching a plan meant to do it. No, hatching a plan means no, to plan the plan. Yeah, right? oh. make a plan, yeah. It, okay. it doesn't uh, make... It's not a good metaphor. No. Mm. I, you know, that, that is, does not... That does not seem intuitive to me. You sit on a plan with a warm bum and you have to. Uh, yeah. Bathtub. Or that, yeah. That's all I'm yeah. doing. I'm uh, just going to jump in the bathtub briefly. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Catch um, my breath. Do we, do, do we, this is April, do we like need to, mm, no, there wouldn't be anything with the health potions or anything. Probably not. No. The cleric? The cleric? Um, Maybe? We could put him on. We could put him on on call. The cleric on can The cleric can certainly heal you, but uh, you don't think he he probably wouldn't have any potions to give you. Mm. That's okay. Uh, it might, it in might, the tub, it like might be worth. Place. It might be worth getting a message to the cleric just to let him know that shit's gonna go down. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, Warwick the... has already had a chat with him. So he oh, knows, good, 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 good. and he's, yeah, yeah, he's basically, um, he's on standby, uh, and he's basically said, look, whatever you need me to do, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'll stay here in the All Gods Temple, and it will be a safe place for anybody who needs it. Good, good, good. Yeah. good. Because, you know, no bloodshed in the All Gods Temple. That's something everybody abides by. Mm-hmm. Until right. they don't. I was going to say, so portal into the All Gods Temple and beat up the Cormorant there. Not mm. the plan, then. <laughs> mm. Maybe no one time. would ever suspect. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. Yes. Shall so, we... Short rest if I can, and then good to go. Yeah, let's take a little Ooh, beauty can, rest. Can we all do a little short, cheeky rest? Yeah, short rest. Um, all right, let me see what I can quick. do. Yep. I can do... All I did was bite people, so I'm fine. Um, <laughs> Gwendolyn suffered absolutely no injury or trauma. It was delightful. Yeah, but, Todd's never know. been shot before. Oh, Todd. People have shot at him, I guess. That's probably something that's happened, but... Actually getting nailed by it. Uh, Duncan awesome. flexes the bullet out of his abdomen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Very cool. <laughs> Wild shed. Jams a red hot poker in there to cauterize it a little bit. Boy. Oh, Dungeon Master, uh, my druid I'm circle Batman. says copy of Circle of the Moon, by Oops. the way. Really? Thank you. I thought I fixed that. Yeah. <laughs> Wild shape. Languages. Oh, I thought I got something. Yep. Okay, perfect. I'm good. Okay, so the sun sets. Um, Waratah is becoming increasingly nervous, of course. Um, as the sun goes down, um, Raka, the uh, 
Ismani, the possum person, uh, wakes up and comes up to join you. Uh, he wants to know whether you want him to help out, though you get the impression uh, he would be happiest uh, guarding Waratah because he thinks that is, he believes that's always been his charge anyway. That's fair. Mm. That's fair. How far Very away fair. possum running is where we are to the Cormorant's house? Uh, let me check the map. So if I could catch a ride on his back and like free turn into a spider, that'd be rad because Shrimp is just very big. Uh, 500 feet. It's not far for a possum. Oh, it's not far at all. Because um, he is seven foot four. It would not be unusual to see a right? possum running around, except he's not. He, he's wearing pants. He's not. He doesn't look exactly like a possum. Uh, mm. He is larger than a than even the largest brush-tailed possums, and the proportions I just need, if, are a little sneaky? different. I just, need to get, I just need to get me close if he'd be down to do that. Let me check his stats. I'm just curious. If not, it's totally fine. Uh, yeah. Uh, he'll say, yeah, he has experience in being stealthy. Sweet. I don't need you to get me, like, super close or anything, just, like, I'm pretty large. And I don't want the guards to see me at all. You don't have to get me to the front door. You can literally just throw me over the wall. You need, don't throw me over the wall. You can just put me on the wall. That'd be great. Just, so you're going to be a spider while I'm doing this? Yeah, are you comfortable with that? Um. I'm trying not to, like, wriggle around in your fur or anything, man. You're still going to be you. Like, you're still going to know who you oh, are. Oh, yeah, I'll be me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. All right. Don't mind saying I'm I'm not that great with spiders, but if it's but if I know it's you and you know you're it's, you, all right, it's all right. Me. Yep. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Can I'm I show you? Can I show you the spider I've chosen? Is everyone okay with spiders? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. It is a gray huntsman spider. Oh, gray. <laughs> hey, when buddy. I was in university, uh, there were huntsmen. Um, I, I lived in a in a converted garage, so uh, a lot of lot of huntsmen. Do you know they're orange before they grow into their fur? Yeah, they're little like that. orange babies. Is that little, cute? Little cute, uh, translucent orange. Um, let me show you a baby huntsman that is. Um, right, there should be a fluffier one. Outside. Imagine that, but with fuzz. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you've got you've got one. This is a baby huntsman um, that is outside my bed yep. bedroom window every night. Oh, yep. so it's yep. only, little orange guys. only about an inch wide, maybe mm -hmm. a bit more. Spider people call baby spiderlings sling. Mm -hmm. Yes, and mm -hmm. that that is a grey huntsman, uh, a baby mm -hmm. grey. He will be. He will be. <laughs> he will be grey eventually. But yeah, I figured because. Uh, Strange is grey, so grey huntsman suited. Cool. We had stripy looking fellas in parks. My uh, housemate who moved up from Adelaide was like, what is this? I'm the huntsman. Now huntsman. I we just have the big brown ones up uh, north. We did once find a, um, a jungle huntsman um, <laughs> under our house, which is a beautiful, lovely thing. <laughs> On earth, somebody goes, get out. <laughs> Get to the chopper. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm just looking at pictures of spiders. Yeah, okay, so Drench will you ready? I can be a spider for like an hour. You can't be a spider forever. So I got um, my stick. Final thing to determine: um, Rima and Vargad are they coming through the portal or are they uh, staying at the tavern? <laughs> I trust Vargad. I don't trust Rima to not, just, like, knock everything over. We're bringing the Cormorant here anyway, so stay here. We'll bring him through. You can be the extra intimidation help when we have that conversation. Hmm. Yeah, if you guys could, like, guard the portal, that'd be rad. Where do we want to put the portal? Do we want to put it in the kitchen? Or should we have it face somewhere that doesn't have the, that doesn't face that big sign that says, Welcome to, <laughs> the, Welcome to the, the Wicked Pixie? Yeah, you know that one, that big one? Uh, should, we, should we put it in the I basement? Like... Is that a bad idea? Basement's probably a good idea. Just for extra security. Is Indy saying this, right. not Todd? 
Yeah, I mean, in the yeah if it all goes south, things. you can at least barricade the trap door. And if he, if he wanders into the Feywilds, like, he's not going to survive. <laughs> The only way out is into baby. the yeah, he's milk get in baby milk killing baby. field. Yeah. Into the milk baby killing fields, exactly. <laughs> the foggy milk baby killing fields, which is officially what we're calling it, obviously. Okay. The, the so... lactose lair. <laughs> no, not a lactose lair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hell. Please, I'm intolerant. I'm intolerant. Me too. <laughs> the sun has set. Um... Slick uh, has uh, changed her outfit. She's now wearing just some very plain uh, grey, uh, brown, uh, grey trousers and a, a light grey uh, blouse. And she's grabbed um, a few daggers from the armory. But other than that, he's actually travelling quite light. Uh, we have vetted her. It's fine. Don't yeah, it's fine. Rima. Um, uh, has somehow <laughs> procured a bandolier, which is now full of hand grenades. I'm pretty oh. sure, I was going to say, she's got to have a feat of just produced bandolier. She's like a little um, artificer or something. Plus uh, a pair of flintlock pistols on her hip. Oh, God, I love her. I'm in love with her. <laughs> yeah. You've got to yeah. write her description oh, uh... down. <laughs> We're keeping her, please. Yeah, um, no, she's ours. She's, she's going to be our powder she's monkey. She's coming on, on that boat. ship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Vargad, great power monkey. Uh, Vargad curiously has not armed himself at all. You think he uh, barbarian? He's like Reacher. His monk. power is big. Yeah. <laughs> he's a monk. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's always a... by being large. Yeah. And <laughs> and, and punchy and mm -hmm. limber. Yeah. Um. And so, uh, please just draw on the map of the Wicked Pixie where you're putting the portal. All right. Um, where's the, the undercarriage? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, down here. Yeah, down that. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. In in the in the cell. Yeah. If it in, all in goes air shaped, we can close the cell door. Yeah. Or they can. Someone can. Yeah. Okay. And he's not going to know to move the safe. So we're just dropping it there, right? Is that the plan? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So uh, Slick wishes you luck, and she uh, slides out the front door. Um, like power slides or moonwalks? Uh, she does like a very clock. stealthy left and right, and then suddenly she's gone. Uh, wow! You think she's good at she's this stealth thing, um, and then a drench. You turn into a spider. Um, yeah, before I do, um, so it'll be pretty fast once I open the portal. Everyone, get all your nonsense ready to get in. Any magics and things you need to do, yeah, whatever. Bill Hook, got it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yep. Bill I'm a prepared. holy woman. My spells are not complicated. Nice. Uh, nice. Purple cracks peer all over Drench, and then he dissipates into smoke, and out of that smoke it starts to reform, and out pops a little tiny spider. Not a tiny spider, a huntsman-sized spider. <laughs> but um, not too big. Yeah. Large. Yeah. Not, not like last time we had a spider. I was going to say, not like last time. And then uh, Rucker... I can't have another glow tarantula situation. Rucker um, goes down on all fours and says, I can't I'm... believe I'm doing this, all right? Climb aboard. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I like okay. spiders. I'm uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Uh, good luck to you all. And he bounds up the steps. And that is where we're going to take a short break. <laughs> we'll be back in just a moment. So don't go anywhere. Bye.
And we are back, and uh, we just spent half our break looking at photos of bugs for reasons. It's fun. Uh, but I'm pretty we... sure none of them are bugs, actually. Like the, uh, the definition of a bug is really specific. I think weevils might be. I think weevils, weevils might be. Yeah, are in the category Mantis of true is definitely bugs. Definitely not though. Yeah, no, in you're quite right. Is. Spiders aren't either. A no. bug is an insect um, that uh, basically sucks things. That's how it eats. Uh -huh. Um, and it's it's more technical than that. That's just how I remember. Definitely, we got nerdy and drench in is a currently a different spider. way. So yes, <laughs> drench is a spider. We now have a scenario yeah. of a spider riding a possum person. Uh, so uh, that means it's time to do a few stealth rolls. Um, now I will get one from drench with advantage. Um, okay. it is very unlikely that anybody is going to care. Um, but there is still a small chance that somebody will notice that there is a huntsman riding a possum, which you never know. They might say, oh no, that poor possum. Like, dude, you've well, got a spider in your fur. <laughs> yeah, you think you're fine. Um, All right. now I need to roll stealth for the possum uh, with advantage because it is dark. Oh, I need to get my spider stats up. Very good. And now I need a roll for Spider-Man. The drow who is doing things. And I will not tell oh. you what the result is because it should be a surprise. We Excellent. just hear a explosion coming <laughs> from. <laughs> yeah. If we don't hear anything, no that is good news. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, Rucker, the Ismani, uh, rolled quite well, got a 23 on his stealth nice. check. A, a Rucker knit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, if Doug's allowed to, I'm allowed to. <laughs> the possum weaves uh, deftly. Uh, through uh, the streets of Liberty Bay. Uh, and there are very few people to avoid at this point anyway. Uh, the sun goes down and most of the activity comes to an end. Um, <clears throat> it's not like there's a large middle or working class around here who are you know, going to the pub for drinks after work or, or so forth. It's just the convicts have been, um, have all been locked up. The soldiers have finished their day and um, they're heading to their, they've gone to their various messes and are getting ready to bed down for the night. So, uh, let's head back to the map of the manor. And, um, so we'll say that, uh, Drench, I'll leave you in your Furbolg with your furball-shaped token, um, but we know that yes. you are a spider. It's um, a bitsy spider. So Raka is going to bring you this far. Yep, perfect. And is then going to just sort of hands up and peer over uh, the wall. The wall. Yeah. Okay. Can you do a little uh, spider wave? Drench will climb off and wave, wave a leg. Okay. <laughs> uh, Raka will look around and say, Good luck. And then All right. head pops back down and disappears. Okay. Uh, probably not that weird to see a huntsman, um, but I would like to like 
crawl along the bottom of the wall, but like keeping to the side of the wall. So I have my bearings. Cool. Beep. So like this, this way. Like, no problem. You know, like that. Uh, yeah. I Ooh, will geez. get stealth with advantage. Okay. I also get a plus four to stealth as a spider. So cool. Nice. Stealth. Advantage. Oh, I'll just roll regular D10 because I have negative. Uh, D12. Uh, D20. Jesus. Okay. That was bad. That was a two. That was much better. Plus four. So 14. 14. As an itty bitty okay. spider. In that case, I will roll uh, to see whether a soldier notices you. Okay. Um, so you get about halfway. Oh, come on. And you see uh, the soldier just sort of um, glance, oh, sees wheel. something moving around. I mean, it's Albert. I'm native. Walks up. Yeah, that's why you stand out. <laughs> oh, no, you're so right. This horrible garden. <laughs> and it's, uh, he's just, he just crouches and looks. Oh, he's looking. Oh, I'm just going to sit there like a spider. Okay. Like, do the little is, petty palps. Like, is he a drinking glass and paper kind of guy? Or no, let's, let's find <laughs> out. I feel like you should just leave the local wildlife alone. He's just looking. Um, cool. He, Slice, I like him. Oh, so I don't want to kill him now. He's nice to animals. He sort of extends so a hand, sort of going, you know, maybe the spider wants to walk onto my hand. I don't do that, huntsman. Uh, uh. <laughs> You know the uh, one. Hmm. Yeah, Drench is going to wiggle around a little bit, but then, like, tentatively, like, put a foot on his hand just to see what he does. Oh, give the guy a moment. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he's he going to write about in his spider journal. Think. Oh, it's all right. I'm not going <laughs> to hurt you. He is going to try and flip the outside, though. So I'm trying to humanize he's gonna, he's, Yeah, he's going to put me somewhere, murdering. isn't he? So rude. He's going to put me somewhere. Put you in a jar with a twig and a leaf to recreate what you're used to. No! Okay, but I kind of want to crawl onto his hand, though. He seems nice. <laughs> <laughs> Try to crawl could... onto his hand. Okay. I know I'm going to be put over the other side of the wall or something, yeah. but come on. Is... Let's see what happens. Hello? I'm going to go find you a new home. <laughs> where's, where's he taking me? Um, he starts walking... I'm going to pop you out in the garden, I reckon. Uh, I hope he does. This way. Hope he's a okay, nice guy. Okay, that's fine. I um, hope he doesn't kill me. He seems nice. Uh, he hurt goes spiders. into <laughs> this shed and starts oh, looking perfect. around. Mm, there's somewhere to put a spider. Or something to put me in. And he finds uh, a pot. Um, and he says, uh, okay, this is just to make sure you don't. Uh, go away. Um, I'll be back when I've finished my shift. And he oh, okay. goes to put you... Uh, thinks about sort of putting you in the pot, then decides okay. instead he takes the pot up. And Before he does it, can I scurry off? <laughs> okay. Um, and he'll I mean, go, no, 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 no. And uh, can you give me uh, just a... Uh, the acrobatics or yeah let's go acrobatics <laughs> dex? acrobatics dex i mean acrobatics is dex if you don't have acrobatics any... is dex right yeah 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 there's my acrobatics okay my acrobatics is spider is plus two nice that's all right i rolled a two Ooh, plus two i got a four inspiration Inspo, yeah and he... oh yeah you know what i'm gonna use my inspiration okay because no, I won't tell you what he rolled. <laughs> oh, and a flash of 20. Hey. No, I will oh. tell, tell you what he told because it's perfect. He rolled a 19. Oh. Hey. <laughs> oh. You got exactly what oh. you needed. Um, oh, thank you, Dungeon Master, for giving us inspiration. Perfect that you're in the woodshed because this is exactly where huntsmen like to hide. Um, and you're able to immediately... Uh, skitter off into the darkness and um, hide Perfect. under a piece of firewood. And he goes, ah, oh. oh, well. 
next time. Next time. And he... This man just has like a zoo of spiders in his room. Yeah, I feel like he'd take me to his house and it would just be like all like pinned insects and spiders <laughs> like up on the wall. <laughs> you can't own nature, man. He's <laughs> damn right. I cannot imagine he's going to have many friends in the barracks if he just has jars full of spiders yeah, next to no his doubt. cot. Yeah, the spiders are all, they're all the only friends he's got. <laughs> oh, buddy. You see, well, we can't murder him now. Anyway, okay, goes, uh, I'll wait for him to go. Yeah. yeah he's gone. He's uh, returned to his patrol. I will continue what I was doing. Uh, wait for him to I walk past or whatever. appreciate that he skived to play with spiders. Okay. Yeah, I, you know what? I appreciate, I respect that man. Uh, Not a native to this area and he picked up a scary spider. Good for him. He has uh, walked away um, from where you are. You can't see where he's gone, though. Yeah, that's fine. I assume the grass is grassy enough for me to, like, skitter out. And then, come yeah, on, Dredge, yeah. come here. Oh, sorry, I have to get over the wall. There we go. I'm back over the wall. Why can't I pick up my son? Come here, child. Uh, there you he have is. to uh, aim for the feet because of... Aim for the feet, yeah. yeah how the isometric... Uh, work ah, I see. Works. Well, I should be up further. Okay, I will do what I did before and skitter up, and I would like to go underneath the door. Okay. Um, as a huntsman spider, uh, this presents no challenge to you, so there will be no role involved. Perfect. All right, you get inside. Um, give me a perception check, please. Okay. What's my spider perception? That's Your spidey whiz. senses? Mm -hmm. gotta be my spidey good. senses. I got plus zero to spidey senses. Oh, oh let me just check there's no <laughs> fancy thing for that. Rip, what spider did you get bit by? <laughs> um... A big slow huntsman. I've the got anxious four, one. I've got dark vision and passive perception of 10. Okay, okay. so I'll just do a... The dark vision is good because it is quite dark in here at the moment. Ooh, 14. 14. Uh, so you look around. Uh, it's pretty obvious that this is the kitchen. Um, mm -hmm. You do not see okay. any other people uh, in this room with you. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You can see that there is probably... Looks like there's a hallway to the left that um, might lead to, uh, eventually to the front door, probably has other doors leading off to other rooms. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you are, uh, let's see, with a 14 and what are spider ears like? How is spider hearing? I really don't know. I don't think, they've got good vibration sense, yeah. but I don't think they've got yeah. actual hearing. I don't think they're yeah. great on the hearing front. In, in spider form, you're not aware of anybody walking around very close to you. Certainly nobody's marching up and down, um, mm. chanting or anything like that. Okay. Um, I would like to stay out of sight as best I can, like hiding behind things where and when, where and when I can. Uh, and I would like to skitter to the hallway, sticking to this side. Okay. Uh, you look so. down, you see that there are indeed uh, four doors, two on either side of this hallway leading to various rooms, and then a fifth door right at the very end, which uh, you believe leads out to the front veranda uh, where you saw two guards standing earlier. Okay. Uh, to save uh, time, I will stick my head under this one and not explore every single door in this house. Okay. Oh, but the loot... What if there's like a magic item sitting in a cabinet somewhere? We get away with that as a spider. <laughs> um, That'd be cool. If I saw a spider dragging a magic orb or something, I'd leave it alone. I mean, I, this is Huntsman. It probably would. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Really, really, you know, spider-like, I will crawl underneath here. I just want to get in far enough that I can see if there's anyone in the room. Give me a perception check once you're in, please. What did I say was my perception? Oh, plus zero. Okay. Ten. Ten. With 30 foot of dark vision. Uh, okay. Uh, so this is quite clearly a bedroom. It has what looks like a... Um, well, I was going to say it looks like a large bed, but from your perspective, mm. everything looks large. Mm. Um, uh, it's... From this angle, uh, you cannot see anybody, uh, but uh, if there are on or in the bed, you probably wouldn't be able to see them from this angle anyway. Okay. Where is... I would like to be in the room. Mm-hmm. And, like, really, really just, like, right up next to the bed. 
Okay, so you're, you're at its feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to climb up on the wall behind the bed just enough. Okay. Uh, once you've, if uh, I can, if I can see through a slat in the headboard, that would be fantastic. I don't know what kind of bed this is. Uh, it is a big uh, double bed, and you can now see clearly that there are two dwarves sleeping in this bed. Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, I will climb back down. Excuse me, I'm just moving around oh, yep. so I can make them visible. Hello. Perfect. Assuming this is the cormorant and the cormorant's wife. Uh, <laughs> you can only uh, assume that because uh, nobody's actually described their appearance to you. Yeah, I realise we had a, a little floor in our plan there. <laughs> Probably right. Yeah, sure. Okay, uh, I'm going to climb back down and they're and asleep, right? Their house. They're asleep yeah. or uh, at least trying to get to sleep. Uh, give me. Okay, I will. Give me another perception check to actually try to determine are they asleep or not. Sure. Oh, ten again. <laughs> mm. um, the ten on perception. Their eyes are closed, but beyond that. You can't really say whether they're asleep or just dozing or napping or whatever. That's fine. They're going to get the drop of their life in a second. I don't. I'm not going to fall on them as a spider. <laughs> You're going to fall okay. on them. As um, yeah. Oh, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> Two dwarves aren't going to get a fur bog off them. All right. What, what a way to wake up. <laughs> right. Oh, truly. Uh, like, Sorry, drink. man. I'm not from around you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for dropping in, man. Yeah. Um, all right. Drench is going to stand here. Aim at this wall, where the, this wall, mm -hmm. between the two windows. And is everyone ready? Yes. <laughs> We're probably um, shooting the shit, right? Yeah, what What are the rest of you doing? Yeah, what's everyone else doing? They've been gone a few minutes now. Got any three. Oh, <laughs> we're, playing, we're playing cards. I still don't understand where the fish come in. The fish are <laughs> sort of metaphorical, I think. What's good I don't think I've ever fish. seen one of those. And then there's the very gentle <laughs> of a portal. Oh, oh shit, we're on. Well, the portal was already <laughs> there, but now it opens and you can it see opens. a very dark It's kind of going to be like that moment where like everyone's just like, uh. Oh, <laughs> they open a portal and everyone's just playing cards. What universe are they looking in on? <laughs> Gods. All right, yes, and Drench has reformed into a fur bog. Okay. Uh, Guess yeah, we try to stealthily portal. step through. It is a uh, have very... They, have they woken up? Yep. <laughs> Like we don't want yeah. to be fair, give them right. time to send up an alarm, right? I'm yeah, just I'm thinking grab, if I... isn't it just like grab go? Mm. Yeah, we should. Okay, if I have any sort of action, do I have rope? I always have rope. Oh, uh, you don't have action, but you do have at least uh, so far. Once any of you move through the portal, basically, I'll get you to do stealth checks. So okay. He will wait for them and he will just point to the bed. Okay. And wait for uh, Todd or whoever's the stealthiest. Duncan doesn't have dark vision. Duncan does not have dark vision. I, I think you just probably You just Todd. see a black hole. Gwenny and Todd have dark Does the light vision. come through the portal? No. No. Okay. But a very bright light has just appeared in the commandant's bedroom, right? Like somebody's turned <laughs> the the um, bedside light on. Yeah, we got some UFO shit LEDs. going on outside yeah. the windows. Yeah, um, this Gwen is where an alien abduction. Like to prep yeah. some person before she steps through the portal. Have you got the net? We just and I have a net. lay the net over them. <laughs> well, like a scream is the problem. I was going to say the concern is the screaming. <laughs> Okay. So if Todd, like, if we've pre-discussed this, if Todd is gonna is primed to clamp down on the man's mouth, uh, Gwenny will prep charm person for the lady. Okay. okay. Let's do it. 
Well, I hope this isn't like a self? everyone's been referring to the cormorant as a he, right? Like this isn't like a you're playing without gender perceptions and really she's the cormorant. Because, We're gonna steal said, the man and No, because they said cormorant and their wife, right? His wife. So. He could be a lesbian. Can... <laughs> he could be a lesbian. <laughs> he also likes women, you're right. They frequently refer to the to the commandant as a he. Cool, okay. Just checking. All right, Gwenny will prep charm person for the lady so she doesn't scream. Todd, yep, put your okay. fluffy hands over that man's mouth. Right. Uh, Drench will prep the wand of sleep in case either of them wake up prematurely. Mm -hmm. Did you okay, want Duncan though... on grapple, given that Duncan's probably got the highest strength? Yeah, look, who's actually Should picking we get them... this guy up? I think Todd needs to be the one to pick up the cormorant, because you're the sneakiest. Mm, not terribly strong though. Well, it's, it's so d it's dark in here is the problem. Yeah, yeah. Dread, uh, Duncan That's can't see. Duncan yep. can't see. Neither can you, right? Yeah, no. you're both. You're both just sort of. Exactly. Yeah, it is. Um, but since, as you point out, there is actually a little bit of light coming in uh, from the basement, uh, but it is not very bright where what's the, you what's are the moonlight? either. What's the moonlight if like outside? There's windows. If we, um, if Todd just like restrains the dwarf first and then Duncan can come in in his own time and collect him, we can like deal with him. It's just we need to should stop we... that initial yelp. Should we, we kidnap stop both screen. of them? I feel like we should yes. kidnap both I feel like, we, yeah, we're we kidnapping are, we both are taking, We're taking both, 100%. It's okay. just like we're just trying to stop anyone from screeching because then we will have to kill four guards. Well, I mean, not necessarily. The dungeon the master has there. humanized if we just, one. If we, just <laughs> leap, if we just leap through the portal and close the portal, like I, I feel like we could get out before the guards get there. We could, and then they would have. To well, find we definitely us, can. Then they would be on but alert. then they're going to be alert, and they're going to be like the cormorant. We don't just want anyone to know we have been, and that the cormorant is no longer is sleeping in his room. Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. Um. This is a. I checked we my... talked about this before we did all this. Yeah, so this what... is what we were doing. I just took a moment <laughs> to. Period. I just took a moment to check the calendar I made, which includes the moon phases, and oh, it is moon. basically no moon. There is it oh, is. Oh, new moon. Black. That was rolled up. Yeah. Like new moon. Okay. I have got the wand at the ready, pointed at whoever screams first. Mm -hmm. If someone screams. Okay. Whoever wants to come in, Duncan, Dredge, oh, wait, I'm Dredge. Duncan, Todd, whoever wants to come in first and grab one of these guys, please. Okay. Yeah. What am I rolling? We'll step yeah. through and do a charm person because I think Todd is faster. Okay, just tell me what you're doing first and okay. we would Gwendolyn uh... will step in and, and cast charm person. Do they okay. have to be awake for charm person or can they be asleep? And do they get a save if they're asleep? To be able to see a uh, humanoid I can see within range, they must make a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if I or my companions are fighting it. But, so she doesn't get advantage. If it fails the saving throw, it's charmed by me until the spell ends. Yeah, I'm going to say a uh, sleeping target, which she is, will have disadvantage. Hey. That sounds good to me. Uh, hey. So, all right, I will do that. I've already forgotten. What kind of save was it? Wisdom. 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 Wisdom 13. With disadvantage. The first roll was a 14. The second roll is a 17. Oh, Jesus. Um, well, I'm sleep up. She pauses. <laughs> so, hang on. If it fails, it is charmed. They succeed. I think they just like continue on as normal. I they think know they know if they're they are aware. Yeah, they know. So I guess would she wake up? Right? Hang on. That's just when the spell ends. So I guess no. When the spell ends, the creature knows it was charmed by you. Mm. She's not been charmed. No. So I guess she doesn't know because yeah, it didn't hold. She just keeps sleeping. Yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, she's sleeping. Backup plan. Um, we do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Duncan, Todd. Um, uh, we are prepping to grab her when Todd grabs him. We got to do so this. So Duncan, 
Duncan's Duncan's the strongest. Should he grab the cormorant? I'm assuming he's strong because he's a man. He should, but he can't see. So Todd has to go first. To don't you keep have a trident that's down. giving off light? Yeah, don't you? Oh yeah, I do. Okay, Gwen can light. One the day we're going to remember what kind of magic toys we have. <laughs> do we? Can Gwen like this do a very scary. soft glow? Can um, she like set the levels? Is I'll say. There a I mean, you can choose the color. So I'll say yes. I mean, you can make it a red light, which is. Yeah. Yeah, you know, relatively this unintrusive. We are, we are literally inventing like <laughs> alien abduction theory right now. Like, all right, Gwen will do the lot like a really soft red glow that like won't disturb anyone, and but will allow Duncan to see shit. Betty Spider Friend is absolutely okay. a tin hatter as well. Duncan and Todd can grab the two yes. then. All right, well, Go we'll let Todd sneak in first and try and grab the. The wife. Should we let? Okay. Should you both sneak in first and get in position, and then yeah. both grab them as D and D allows with stealth movement? Roll? Uh, this is the time for a stealth roll. Yeah. So, uh, I'll get one from Todd and one from Duncan, please. Twenty five. Would I have oh, taken geez. my armor off for this particular mission? I don't think so. Do I think Duncan's still armored up. So disadvantage makes okay. it a. However, uh, it is the middle of the night, uh, so... Uh, I, and they're I, in their REM cycle. So I would say yeah. you have advantage, but that cancels it out, so it's just a normal roll. Um, in that case, then, I will discard the natural one. Or the, no, I'll just roll again. <laughs> <won't> I? <laughs> I rolled a six and a one, and I, I shouldn't keep the, the high one. I'll just roll again. Hit inspiration. Well, yeah, right, but I'll roll again anyway without the... The thing oh uh 12 12 is fine 12 i'll keep a 12 on a stealth check yes i think uh passive perception yeah uh you will not wake them okay Perfect. grapple grapple now uh there is, they have no chance to avoid being grappled mm -hmm. um so uh, I'm actually not going to make you roll. Uh, you automatically succeed on grabbing them. Um, hand over the mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah hand, web. hand over mouth. Um, I will web say, hand. however, you are now. Oh, it is weird drawing these isometric squares. Um, you are now all in initiative. Yes. Because they have suddenly woken. Yes. Uh, so do please go to the combat tab and roll. Um, I need like sleepy combat music. Wow, this is the highest I've ever rolled. Hey, wow, okay. it'll never happen again. I mean, I'm listening. Oh, me too. To, uh, All right. Wow, <laughs> Lo-Fi Dark Souls. That's sleepy, but also initiative. I think. I yeah, Lo-Fi Dark Souls. That is all. That is very sleepy. Very so, good. Gwendolyn and Todd, you both got a twenty. So, who wants to go first? Uh, Todd can. Yep. Well, I've got me a dwarf, and I'm headed for the portal. Okay. Um, I'll say you will move at half speed, dragging a yep. dwarf through, but uh, he's in no position currently to actually stop you from doing this. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. So you will be able to pull this off with no yep. problem. All right, through the portal, back to the Wicked Pixie, with dwarf. Okay. Todd has the lady. Todd has the, the wife, yeah. Whoops. Mm -hmm. Yes, give me the waifu. Thank you. <laughs> I have a dwarf and I jumped in a hole. Jumpy, jumpy <laughs> hole. And, jumpy, uh, jumpy hole. She is immediately you know, going. Mm, 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 mm. You can do that all she wants. Todd, Todd just pat, pat, pat. <laughs> <laughs> this is not comforting. Gwendolyn. <laughs> uh, Bay, dog pats you. Uh, Gwendolyn will continue to hold the light for big blind fish and goat okay drench it's a cow not a goat thank you so um big sweet cow man uh all right he uh, is going to oh sorry at the feet he's going to stand right next to the portal um he'll be the last one through and then close it behind him does he need to be can if... he just jump through and wait 
I can, but I don't know. I'm just nervous about stuff. I suppose I can jump through. I'll be in the He's kitchen. A gentle cow. Oh, no, I want to stay in this room in case this guy bites or screams somehow, just in case. Wait, where is he in the order? Right at the bottom. Oh, yeah, the I got him. oh never yeah. mind. I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. Okay. Uh... If anyone screams, I would like to ready my sleepy dick. Uh, Duncan. I have a dwarf, and I've jumped in the hole. Okay. Uh, same deal, basically. Half speed, but you're able to drag them out before they have a chance to do anything because mm -hmm. of the initiative order. Mm -hmm. hey. um, it is now uh, the wife's turn. She is going to try to break the grapple. Okay, she might. Um, does I've got my action oh. ready in case she does. Mm -hmm. This is going to be... Uh, Okay, Todd, can you roll um, athletics or acrobatics, please? This is a contested check. Yep, let's let's do the athletics and see what we get. Ooh, that's it's, only isn't an your dex higher? Isn't your dex higher? Um, athletics or uh, no? They're both, plus, they're, both, they're both plus four. Athletics is strength. Oh. Both yeah. plus four. Nice. Well, she rolled a ten. Yep. So she Ooh. she struggles out. Um, Sleepy wand? Sleep. Yeah. Go, go, go. Uh, okay, you did not specify that you'd readied the wand as an action oh, to use, I did. though. Did you? Yeah. I Sorry, I, I missed it. I missed it. Okay. <laughs> no, okay. Times. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know how to use it. Okay, so it is the okay. sleep spell. So just okay, imagine sleep. you're a wizard for a moment. Um, <gasps> uh so, says something vain or douchey. Because yes, it is I'm level three, can you please roll yeah. 9d8? Absolutely. That's so many. many hit points she has. 98. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Jesus. 37. 37. Uh, yes. So that is more than enough because that is the total number of hit points of creatures that can be put to sleep. Um, Does that catch both of them? No, I only said I ended it. Whoever struggled first. Well, yeah, so. but it just affects a radius. It's like yeah, the, ra you pick the a, area. It's always it, the lowest hit points, and then you just sort of work foot, up the stack. Twenty foot radius. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, twenty foot. Yeah, twenty foot radius, so a forty foot diameter. All right. So well, if can, he's if he's stuck in there, yeah. so I'll just check their hit points since that's mm. what matters. Sure. She does not have many. Neither does he. Yeah, uh, they are both immediately back to sleep. Oh, that's nice for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, slap him. <laughs> this has a duration no. of duration of one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay, plenty of time to hog yeah. time and put a thing in their mouths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are we still in initiative? I'm going to say no. You don't need All to right. be initiative uh, Now anymore. we're in the Wicked Pixie. Gwen yeah. will step in through the portal after everyone's through. Okay. Ignite her. And close the portal. We are back in the Wicked Pixie. <laughs> we're going to throw them on the pile of people we've hogtied. <laughs> there he is. We are starting and... to get a collection. It's a good thing we don't have an amulet. Yeah. There he is. Okay. Can you imagine if we some sort of amulet where we could keep people? <laughs> yeah, I mean, that'd be interesting. That really would be handy, yeah. terrible, yeah. yeah. Mm. No one's Maybe bleeding one from any injuries. They'll be fine for a really long time in there. Mm. Right. Okay. Uh, it's funny how we accidentally killed that man. So that was <laughs> a uh, critically successful mission, I'd say. Smash and grab, yeah. yeah. You we have... did it kidnapped the commandant and his wife and as far as you can tell uh the rest of liberty bay is none the wiser sweet inventory while that's one common better than expected while they're sleeping let's uh we'll tie them up and do the yeah. mouths and stuff okay yeah we'll tie uh, them to chairs whoever is doing the tying please give me survival checks um is that branch because he's got the sailors knots happening I do have. Can I've I do, got plus. Can I do sleight of hand? Survival. Does that work? <laughs> uh, I would allow sleight of hand if you were untying them, maybe. But no, that's fair. I got seventeen. 
When yeah, has yeah, the yeah. net Sorry. ready if anyone help, needs help, to help, be help. netted? Oh, advantage? Fuck you. Yeah. I'll take that 17. Okay. 17 is pretty good. Okay, they are uh, tied up and gagged um, and just starting to uh, wake up uh, from their magically induced sleep. Um, at which point, uh, where are you putting them, by the way? Uh, where have you put their sleeping forms while you were doing this? Oh, they were in the down there with the, the captain. Basement, yeah. Okay. Are yeah, we leaving them in the, the cells, or are we tying them to the chairs like here? Should we tie them to chairs in the cell? Is well, that a bad okay. idea? Mm. Let's do that. Track. Yeah. Okay. Same professional. Hopefully the cormorant isn't like Arnie. <laughs> We're gonna find, find out. out. I'm, I'm, think, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking I like about that true lies. Still true key, lies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm tired though. Wake up uh, at approximately, oh, at almost exactly the same time, exactly one minute after they got put to sleep. And um, there's a moment of drowsiness as they look around um and the uh the first thing that they see through the bars just because this is where i've put everybody is duncan uh mm. duncan's oh, yeah. horrifying visage uh leering at them all at right least... first of all rude <laughs> secondly accurate yeah, yeah. yeah he's not seen a fish man before yeah. and now there's um, a guy with a really sort of armored forehead and big fucking tombstone teeth is he smiling? Out of the shadows. Is he smiling? And teeth are bad, I think, and the billhook is uh, not brandished, but it is kind of across the doorway, so that even if they did somehow get the door open, there's a billhook. And uh, they are both going to simultaneously uh, give a muffled scream of alarm. Just. <laughs> 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 Did we lock them in there and then not take off their gags? Oh. I don't think we've locked them in, right? We've just closed the door at this point. I hope we did. Oh, yeah. This is so stupid. <laughs> this is our first Ooh. one of these. Yeah, it's yeah. so true. Good. Duncan's going hey, to lean back yeah. into the shadows and just kind of side-eye Gwen. He's not going to say anything. Scary. He doesn't want them to know that he speaks at this point. Uh, Gwen's trying to remember if we made a plan for what we wanted to say to these people. She doesn't uh, think hey. we did. Surrender would be to the people. Wasn't that the entire hey. point? Oh, Hello. yeah. We'll take uh, one of your gags off if you promise not to scream. And if you do scream, we are going to feed you to the fish man. <laughs> Duncan's well, eyes lock on the wife. Nod. Nod if that was a yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, promise? Gwend don't go out in your promise. Gwendolyn will flip it and do some. That is, that is probably lurking just behind uh, Duncan, but you probably can't see much of him. She'll um, um, she'll just remove the gag of the cormorant. The wife will stay gagged. Okay. Apologies. I am a girlies girl, but a not. This is a professional operation. Oh. Yeah, this is business. <laughs> Professional. Uh, and uh, he's going to say, Oh, what is this? Who are you? you? Do you know who I am? Oh, hey, we do. Who's down, man? Hence the situation. Uh, you've been rolled, my darling. So I'm afraid Liberty Bay is no longer yours. Uh, we do require you to sort of step aside in a. S Step aside. How, how dare you? I will have your heads <laughs> we for like this. this. We dare like this. We dare like this. Well, you appear to be in our secure environment, surrounded by several very large, very capable people with weapons and spells. So we dare, and we continue to dare. You cannot possibly hope to get away with this. I'll give you this one chance. Let me go, and I'll see to it that you, your lives are spared, at least. Sort of uninteresting. We really have a great platform to bargain from. Yes, you've got a charming sense of your own sort of power here. 
again, you are in our little cell, and I have a giant fish man who is hungry. I Locked have... in the corner, the sound of a whetstone on a billhook. <laughs> <laughs> I have 100 of some of the best trained men and women in the company. It... You see, he, he was well, about. That's a very low bar, as we got past quite a few of them. You can see he was about to ch point to the garrison, but it suddenly realised, where are we? Where he is? <laughs> you are in a secure location that is not under your control. No one can hear you. None of your very clever soldiers. Shall Guards! We say. Guards! Okay. Help! I said no screaming, man. Uh, Duncan can pushes Gwenny into just... the room <laughs> yeah. and like, sizes up the wife. Uh, and he immediately... <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't raise his hands. He is... No, 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 no. <sighs> okay. What do you want? I can pay you. I... We are not currently interested in your money. Uh, as I said, uh, you have been rolled, you are no longer in charge, and Liberty Bay now belongs to the people. This... Um, I'm trying to think of it. Is this intimidation intimidation or persuasion? What do you all think? Um, it's intimidation, right? Yeah, I think it's uh, intimidation. Uh, I think yeah. we're fishing for intimidate. Yeah, Gwendolyn... Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn is resting a hand on her one of her pistols. Yeah. Um, so please roll intimidation with advantage because of incredibly scary fish man. Yeah, because Guidance. fish. <laughs> Guidance and help. Lovely. And fish. fish I want help. that t-shirt. Guidance, help, and fish. <laughs> All right, so that is a 16 plus uh, a D4. A D4. Yeah. D4. Yeah. 16 plus 1. Oh, well. Five, seven. Hell yeah. Oh, Thank you for the help because the other option was a natural one. Yay. <laughs> You're nice tonight. Uh, yeah, really... I need you to sort those out. Yeah. This is. <laughs> so, what do you need me to do? do we need him to do what did we discuss on that front isn't it just like Again? write an official like sign an official document of right yeah i straight up thought we were gonna kill him but we can do this too i don't know we i don't know i don't know need to do some official shit before we can do a little bit of light french business <laughs> um Light <laughs> french business <laughs> what are we gonna do to him we don't have a guillotine <laughs> Are we taking out to dinner? Oh, okay. I thought we were going to kiss him. We could do that too. Right? We're talking Viva la Revolution. Sorry, not, uh, I was thinking Roman. the wrong kind that, of French business. Yeah, not that kind of French business. Sorry, you meant the big death, not the it's, little it's, death. Like a... um, Rorita. My bad. Rorita. Rorita, who's been Sorry. sort of lurking in the shadows, says, um, I thought we were putting him on that ship. Oh, yeah, yeah. we're doing. Yeah, we're we're doing, to, okay. okay, we're gonna get him to sign over the thing and right. we have some documents you need to sign, possibly right first. Do we have those documents? Did we plan those? Did we prepare? I bet Warita has, has the document Warita has the documents hundred percent. No way she doesn't, surely. Warita has surely been given something by Connie that is official. She's, she's had them since she was old enough to Xerox. Warita says <laughs> I don't even know if such a thing exists. I've never heard of a yes, I will hand my my governorship over to you piece That's of okay, paper. That's okay, man. Uh, Gwen here, can you just write something up real quick? Hey, sure, I can. That'd be great. We charge out there to the garrison and be like, all right, all of you out of here. And they'll be like, you what? You know, I've got a, I've got a, um, got a permit. Got a yeah. permit. permit. I can do Mistress whatever I want. says I can do what I want. Yeah, exactly. Signed <laughs> the cormorant. The commandant yeah, says... Yeah, getting to do the sign and the official stamp or whatever. The commandant says, You people have no idea what you're doing, do you? <laughs> nope. <laughs> we uh, are improvising we slightly. However, your role here is to choose to cooperate or decease. And once again, tell me what you want me to do. Um, we want you to fuck off and let 
someone else rule this colony. Is that it? What are we doing? What? Oh, yeah, basically, right. Out of That's character, what are we doing? We don't even plan to kill him. We can just put him on the boat. Off the record, yeah, what? Yeah, but do you think that... Do you, okay, hang on. When they, when, if we let him go on the boat... This made sense when anyway. we talked about it three seconds yeah. ago. Is the company just going to send, a, like, a militia of, like, five boats to Liberty Bay to take back control? Well, but this was the plan, right? Like, the we, we liberate... We turn it into Liberated Bay... Um, yeah. and then like immediately sign on with Providence so that yeah, it's protected okay. in theory by That's Providence, it. which so, is home yeah. to four incredibly powerful adventurers and several avatars of various gods. Perfect. So, so what do we it. want That's him to do? We want him to fuck off him on to the boat and take all of his dickheads? What does he need Basically, to do? Dickheads. Everybody who wants to leave jumps on the Newland and goes home yeah. to, to Heron's Perch. But... Um, you know, as a potential way to somewhat legitimize this transition of power, we draft a statement from the commandant and just get him to put his signature on it. That's like, yes. I can no longer abide the the awful conditions that the prisoners are in, so I'm setting them all free and leaving Farron's perch. We put the blame on him. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. Ah, oh, legally, yeah. legally, we put the blame on him. <laughs> okay, Gwendolyn says that. <laughs> um, he says. <laughs> I need you to vacate this premises. If I do that, the company will skin me. Maybe Is there a place you. you could go where they wouldn't skin you? Maybe you should have not treated people so badly, man. I mean, it, it does seem like around. a... terrible position to have accepted in the first place. Carbon, man. He says, um... But yes, you could flee. There are plenty of places to flee in this giant world of ours. This is... There is no way this is going to work out for you. You understand that, don't you? Short-term nope. thinkers. It looks very good in the short term. Um, we'll fix the rest of the problems as they uh, arrive. Waratah says from behind you, Uh... How about we just gag him and throw him on the boat? I mean, that's also an option. Or we could kill him. I mean, I, I, I think he has the right to decide whether he wants to be thrown onto a boat. Are we, are we offering this guy euthanasia? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> I mean, if you're if so concerned about being flayed through... alive by the Oceanic Trading Company, we can kill you in a very arming way. And then feed you got to a, a local... You've got a choice of death. We have a fish man, we have a knoll. <laughs> he says... Um, Take your pitch. Have you I have fire. He says, have you thought through at all what the garrison here is going to do when they find out that their commandant, their leader, has been kidnapped and imprisoned like this? Well, bro, do they like you? Yes. Yeah. How fond are they of you? How nice are you? Uh, when you say, bro, do they like you? I don't know. Um, I didn't say that in God voice. That's just, that's just Zindi saying things. It's funnier if you would did. Todd, I was going to say, would Todd say it in a way? Yeah, I'm Todd voice. Yeah, it's like, do they like you? <laughs> and that the wife, um, though still gagged, is immediately going to, she just goes, <laughs> <laughs> like, perhaps if the garrison is presented with a more appealing option of perhaps living in a free colony they might not be so bothered when the man who is no longer paying their salary is kidnapped and put on a boat or into the harbour um, and at this point little Rima a halfling pushes her way through all of you, comes up to the bars, grabs them, and goes right up to them and says, Okay, listen here. Very simple. Either they're going to kill you, or you're going to get on that boat, go back home to Heron's Perch. And when you get there, tell them 
that anyone who comes to try it he's not a, she's not actually shaking the bars around she's just holding them this is me i was gonna say <laughs> she's very strong <laughs> um, very angry yeah and she says and heron's per and and liberty bay is now its own uh, what's the word david free for? free co- yeah. free uh town free, free city. Yeah. city state yeah free city state governed by itself and anybody yes. who tries to undo that is going to get these and she holds up two grenades yes <laughs> yeah get him Reem. oh my god she needs to be the i love president. her let's what put her, her in charge yeah actually yeah. she probably needs but to be i also want to keep her be the world's most oh, yeah. explosive free uh oh, we need it for the powder monkey yeah mm-hmm Yes, um, that. Correct. They'd have such good artillery, though. Can you imagine? And uh, then um, uh, Vargad, uh, Vargad calls from uh, down into the trapdoor and says, uh, Rima, what are you doing down there? She's and helping. She shouts back. It's all right. I've got it handled. And Varghead says, uh, is someone at the door? Who is it? <laughs> did, did, can Waratara go and handle that? Waratara, can you handle that? Uh, yeah, sure. If she, it's the wizard, you. that's fine. If it's yeah, anyone else. Fine, yeah. uh, if it's Tsunamama, yell... that's fine. Cheese wheel, and we will. Or just say react we're closed. Or she could just say we're closed really loud, man. True. Why would she yell out cheese wheel, man? So that we know that. I mean, she could just say we're closed. Shape. Anyway. Uh, yep. Okay, so. Bo? Uh, Todd's, nope. Todd's going to go with her. That's cool. a good idea. But locally. Uh, so, Todd, you follow Waratah up. Uh, Waratah sort of With double, a little bit of distance. Double steps towards the front door, uh, looks through the window, and uh, turns to Todd and says, It's the wizard. Oh, good. Great, thank God. Okay. But there's <laughs> someone with him. It's him. Is it jangling? Someone is with it boss? I meant, sorry. I think boss wizard? I think he's like, um, I think he's captain of the guard. Oh. Great. Maybe he's cool. I don't know. Go on. I'm not there. Way. I don't know. I feel like she that, might have betrayed get us. that sleep stick ready. <laughs> I mean, we incited her pretty hard. I... She's a celestial too, right? Like, they're not typically evil. She's a wizard. Me. Well, she's an Asamir. Yeah, um, and As- Asamir can be evil just as tieflings can be good. She's a yep. wizard David made, so maybe she's <laughs> less evil than all the wizards that I made. I made some damn evil liz- wizards for campaign one. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, the lizards were <laughs> very did. scary. The hey, lizards were terrifying. Listen, Sergei's nice. <laughs> okay, eight. Um, he, he did eat several people. That's, that's <laughs> he did eat a lot of people. And the wizards David make our entire country of slavers. So yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> I was like, Kozo um, Ben was our recurring villain. <laughs> so uh, what I think will happen is Todd, out of sight, is going to have his bow uh, and a an arrow knocked, but he's going to sort of be like, yeah, talk to them. Okay. Um, Boratai will unlock, 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 unbolt, um, open the door slightly and say, yes. And you'll hear uh, Tianora's voice on the other side say, I do hope that uh, what we discussed is actually happening. I have taken a few measures of my own. And Waratah says, I, yes, um, would you like to come in? Tiana says, um, I'd be curious. I'd like to know how things are progressing on your end. Uh, do not worry about this one. Um, 
we are good friends at the moment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I like this girl. <laughs> uh, and Morata says, um, well, uh, she looks to you, Todd, with a, she's, I trust. Yeah, do we invite her in? <laughs> uh, uh, okay, come on He in. doesn't unlock the arrow, but. <laughs> yeah. Come on uh, in. Yeah, Todd trusts. And she uh, steps inside. You can see she's tied her hair back again. She doesn't want to be, you know, Distracting. lighting up the night. <laughs> Mm. Um, and the uh, captain of the guard walks in. He's uh, looks to be in his thirties. Uh, is um, uh, Gee, she took a risk. When he's he still in un uniform. Uncharmed. He's um, gonna. And uh, he looks around um, and says, "Huh? Yeah, you know, I always assumed that. Uh, well, I suspected that something was being planned in here." Well, good to know. Good to know. Well done. Well done. Um, How polite. Yeah. Tiana says, um, so I thought it would be wise to um, get this gentleman on our side. It turns out he actually uh, uh, is somewhat sympathetic to our cause. Um, oh. It might be. Had we not met and spoken about it a moment, you know, a few minutes ago, he might have responded differently upon learning about it. But since we've had a chance to discuss it, I think we have an agreement. Mm -hmm. I'm just, like, just wagging cautiously. <laughs> um, and Tiana, Tiana says... Uh, but uh, I think he would like to have certain assurances regarding his troops. Well, if we can, we can try not to kill if we tell them not to fight. Um, Boratas says, We yes. have his boss in the basement. <laughs> Boratas says, Um, I, yeah, that's, um, Okay, uh, yeah, Todd's right. So, um, if, if and she says this to the guard captain, uh, we understand that a lot of your men might be uncomfortable about a change in leadership, um, especially if they've not being kind to the convicts here who are uh, not far from wandering the streets at will. Um, so the idea is uh, there is a ship coming in. I, You've probably noticed it approaching the bay. Uh, any of your men who want to just leave will be free to do so. Um, those who want to stay and become part of the new settlement will also be free to do so. Uh, but, and the captain says, I see. Uh, we'll Todd need... in the background, we'll prefer not to kill. Yeah, he says, well, I can give you, I can prepare, I, I'm prepared to give you assurances on the part of the soldiers if you can give me assurances on the part of the convicts. And Waratah says, well, we might have to have a word with them before this all, before this transaction is complete. Um, she says, uh, here, and she closes the door behind them and says, look, why don't you make yourselves uh, comfortable? Um, we're just dealing with something else downstairs. Well, it's related. Um, I'll be I'll be right back. And Moritar, you know, quickly sort of dashes downstairs and informs the rest of you of what's happening above. While well, I assume Todd basically keeps watch on the two of them. Yeah, he's he he's just chilling. So the rest of you now know the full picture. Mm-hmm. And the Ooh. cormorant too, because he's in the room. 
Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. The captain of the guard is on our side. And Vortar says, uh, seems so. Uh, looks like, <laughs> yeah, um, this is apparently a bit of a bum post for everyone who was sent here. They didn't like it. How shocking. Oh, I, see. I cannot yeah. imagine why. Okay, I mean, well, gee, we have to... Maybe we should go speak to the convicts, you know, hold like a symposium or something. Yes, yes. you should do that. Uh, did you want me to go and get the the Newland at this point? Oh, yeah, pro yeah we should probably They'll do need that, to be right? alerted, yes. Yeah, um, we, we should pro yeah, we need to tell those... Co I mean, the convicts who are on the boat can't just come screaming off either, man. That's not cool. I'll have a word. And the dungeon master will remind you you've got your own boat that you need to signal at some point if you wanted to come. Yes. But not in front of the Don't... wizard. Not yeah. in front of the wizard. Okay. Yeah, so I'll swim out to the Newland at some point relatively soon and tell them to come in. Sure. Okay. And we need to schedule a meeting with two leaders of the convicts, which will be much easier to do if the... Captain of the um, Guard comes with us. Uh, Waratah uh, says, um, actually, how about, what if we take, um, uh, what if Tiana and I took care of that? That's and fine. She says, just, sure, I mean, the convicts, like, trust you, so yeah. Like, yes. it, it just, I get the impression that you're not planning on staying here after this is all done. They... It might be better if they speak to someone who plans to be part of a of this community, which I guess I've just said I'm going to do. Okay. Hey, congratulations, hey. man. Nice. Okay, yeah. And they know you too, so it probably is better if you go. And you have you. a better understanding of the entire situation and longer history of this place. It makes and You're also sense kind of more likable than us. So, <laughs> some of us have very high charisma. Thank you. Okay. Oh no. All right. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, she says, "All right. Well, um, I guess there's no time to lose. Um, let's go and do it." And uh, so she and Tiana and the guard captain uh, start to get ready to go. At which point the the captain says, uh, "Just um, one thing." He he turns to the rest of you and says, "So, um." Nobody's really explained what you're planning to do with the Commandant. What did oh, you well, heard? that's up to him. Um, Does he know about the Commandant in the basement? Isn't he, he standing in the room with the oh, Commandant no, in the basement? No, no, no he's, he's upstairs. upstairs. You're still all yeah. upstairs. <laughs> what have you heard, man? He says, I, I know you... What would you recommend? I know the plan is to remove him from power, but... Look, um... He was... I will say this, he is a very, he is very efficient at running things. He is not very good at, <laughs> I would say he's not very good at making friends. And uh, he cares very little for the welfare of, well, anyone, to be honest. Uh, it's been my observation that uh, he only he will only treat you with a modicum of respect if he thinks he can get something out of it in the long term. Interesting. So say if yeah. we had him restrained somewhere, uh, would you suggest that we let him go and continue on with his life elsewhere, or should we toss him in a very deep barrel full of water? He says... I don't know. Uh, would you rather... I don't know what would satisfy you more, if he stopped existing or had to live the rest of his life with the humility of being the one who lost control of all of this? This guy! More fun. <laughs> Can he uh, stay? Can he stay forever? <laughs> <laughs> I was say, we do have... Gwen's just going to tell him that the commandant's in the basement. If you'd like to say anything to him, please. Oh. Enjoy. Gloat, if you like. I mean, we've been doing it. Um, what, just down there? 
Down the front. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, down there, man. Pass the cheese and down the ladder. Yeah, I'll show you, man. Don't you show him. Okay. Duncan's gonna go as well. Oh, Gwendolyn's also going. <laughs> uh, you take him down and... Um, we want to watch. <laughs> he walks hmm. up to the bars and the commandant hmm. says, uh, really should make sure I get his name right. No, we never that asked face. his name. Yep. <laughs> commandant uh, probably. Uh, commandant, uh, commandant. Uh, uh, oh. Xian Chu is his name. Uh, Captain Xian Chu. Xian Chu. Yeah. Uh, Chan or Chu. Captain Chu, basically, C H U E. Um, and uh, he's going to say, Oh, they really do have you. And the, the commandant says, Oh, Captain, you have to get me out of here. Yeah. And, and C Captain says, mm, No, see, I feel like we've already had a few conversations saying that something like this might happen one day and that well look um you need you need it yeah um, <laughs> mutiny is a bitch baby i'm not going to say i told Bye. you so i am instead just going to say bye suffer in your jocks nice <laughs> oh flick the hair honey <laughs> He uh, after he goes, Gwendolyn will. Uh, just, by the way, we have decided that we are going to send you back to the Oceanic Trade Company, and we'll let you, them deal with you. He says, "Your wife can decide to do whatever she likes. Okay. If she doesn't want to go, that's." Out. I'm not signing anything, though. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's not legally binding, I suppose. Um, and. When you decide to make noise, forge it. When you mention <laughs> his wife, she does sort of look at him, and <laughs> he looks at her, yeah, and then looks, back, then looks back, and she relents. You get the impression that for just a moment there, she was thinking, "Oh, maybe I could stay." Nah, nah. <laughs> Can we take a gag yeah. out now? Most, um, you take a gag out, man. Oh yeah, Gwendolyn will take the gag off. Yeah, the gag gag comes off. Sorry. And she says, um. No, she doesn't speak at this point. She's just saying, oh, oh, get your hands off me. Oh. Um, and um, the commandant says, says to her, well, it looks like we're packing our things and heading back to Heron's Perch. Um, and she says, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, darling. You're not yeah, you're not packing anything, man. Your house is actually under the jurisdiction of the new council of New New Liberty Bay, man. Uh, and mm -hmm. she says, But my jewelry. Sorry, man. Oh, my jewelry. Like the people now. I, they're, um, they're both in their bed, you know, sleepwear at the moment. Oh, is it nice sleepwear? Wouldn't it be terrible to be pulled from your house in the middle of the night wearing only your bedclothes and thrown onto a boat? I cannot imagine how horrible that would be. Uh, now, do circle back. Tell me more about the jewels. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything and perhaps an emerald? You can see she immediately regrets mentioning them. Um, I always tell you were a pearl Anything lady. special from Mummy? Uh, she says, "No." Gwendolyn is now also now eyeing her. Did she like sleep in an engagement ring? <laughs> uh, they do not. They seem can to have keep whatever they've got on them. Anything surely. worth on them at the moment? Mm -hmm. But she, uh, her lips are now sealed. She will not help you find her worldly possessions. That's okay. We got plenty of time they, to go through their place. You have full confidence that um, it'll be pretty easy to ransack the place if you if you want. Jewels to. and gowns. A shame she's only small. So Captain Shoes says she can make a lovely uh, top. And <laughs> heads back up to the top, and uh, as he uh, Tianra and the um, uh, and Warita are about to leave for the prison, there's a moment where the captain. Stops and turns to Tiana and says, "You charmed me." She says, "Yeah." She says, "I'm sorry. I, it, it felt prudent." And he says, 
Yeah, don't do that again. Good thing I already agree with you. All right, let's do this. <laughs> and they walk off. I like this guy. Mm, yeah, he's fun. fun. I like this guy. What was lot. his yeah. name? Uh, Chiu. Uh, oh, that's Chiu. First name is Chian, S-H-I-A-N. Second name, Chu, C-H-U-E. Chian Chu. And so, uh, I think we can start sort of wrapping up this session here. Mm. Um, Comfy. (laughs) That went way better than I anticipated that uh, going. (laughs) Yeah. There was no bloodshed whatsoever. Utterly bloodless. Uh, Wow. Next session, Connie's we'll gonna be so proud of us. Ignore the boat. Yeah, yeah. don't worry about the boat. There's no blood. I think it was we the all boat are still like... covered in blood. <laughs> they, yeah. they, they weren't. The, the boat wasn't here in Liberty Bay, so the actual Liberty Bay Revolution was bloodless. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, I mean that that is actually quite true. It's not just a technicality. Uh, the mm. boat was a separate. Uh, mm. it yeah, was that was perfect. Separate. That was going yeah. by ocean rules, and there yeah. are no open ocean, ocean rules. rules. <laughs> Uh, so More like will, guidelines. Uh, at this point, um, the poor captain of that ship, um, who is still bound and gagged. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, once you explain the situation and he realises that he has little to no say in the matter, um, mm-hmm. he will agree um, that if he's allowed to keep his ship, he will definitely use it to take anyone who wants to return to Heron's Perch back there. Um, if you plan, I mean, if you plan on taking yeah. the ship away from him, there might be an argument. Well, I want to give it to the I mean, orc, that's between honestly, him and the point. orc, really. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping the captain could help train the orc to be a captain. Oh, yeah. So he has to take on an apprentice. Yeah. If uh, the orc wants fine, to. But Gav's your new bosun. Yeah. Yes. Um, so and Gav when he's is strong the person. Kill you. He just yeah, exactly. Him. And when he, he feels has ready, to treat him he nicely. Will kill you. So well, he should be more worried about himself. Yeah. Honestly. One thing that comes up through the conversation it becomes clear: the captain was actually really close to retiring. Uh, uh, the reason he was pinching all this money um, and spending as little as possible on oh, food and in his so super. forth. Yeah, he was basically saving up to retire. Um, Bobby. Okay. Well. He's decided at this All right, point. So if he promises to make Gab the new pirate Rogers, whatever the we're not using the word we're not using, not using the, word the P word, not using the P not word. Using the P word. <laughs> Will he promise to train Grub? Grab? Grub? Gab. 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 Um, and give him his hat. But he can he has to keep the hat. Uh, he uh, promises to do so. Okay. Um, All right. You think Gap now that has a line of employment? <laughs> even if the captain has, you know, doesn't plan on keeping his promise, you suspect Gab will find ways to make sure it happens. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I trust Gab already yeah. in tr- like, with my life. <laughs> I fear and respect Gab. <laughs> yes. I want there to be a ship of battle orcs. Mm-hmm. Battle orc pirates with battle drums. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, when it mean- comes for us to fight the sea <gasps> We could call it the salt doof. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, it's pretty good. I'll write that down. Borata, uh, oh, Tianra, and the and Captain Chu will address the convicts, um, and uh, what eventually comes out of the conference is um, basically uh, the convicts actually have a lot of skills because they have been working this place, and they are basically just going to take over all of the jobs that they've been forced to do until now. Um, but some of them uh, do want to head back either to Heron's Perch or to other parts of Keldrith, you know, to Heron's Perch and then on to Providence, uh, River Meat, wherever. Um, so Fine. they will be on They're the boat. They're lovely places. Yeah, so they will take the boat oh, Yeah, back. how's uh, River Meat doing these days? <laughs> and um, Fine. <laughs> you'll learn that actually... About two thirds of the guard um, also want to head back. Most of them actually have family in Heron's Perch. Okay, um, that's good. We- so with the gold base we save from not paying two thirds of the guards, that means we can give a salary to the people who want to work, right? Mm-hmm. 
from what's left in the coffers, I assume there's something to pay the guards. Well, there's a uh, the uh, uh, Etienne Honoré, the uh, adjutant, the convict uh, who was arrested for a political boy. Yeah, mm. uh, he has a vision of this place becoming uh, essentially a socialist utopia. Yes, yeah, he's uh, a French guy. boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, we want to kiss this one. And uh, to his surprise... I wouldn't Ka- take an opposed kiss check against a French guy, I'm just um, saying. <laughs> uh, to his and everyone's surprise, Kaskin Weil, the uh, mob boss, uh, is planning on heading back to Heron's Perch. Hey! Um, but hey. wasn't surprised by that at all. Um, uh is making certain dealings with him about trade um, and uh, because this place has some valuable commodities, especially the sulphur. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and so uh, with this, as we sort of wrap up um, this bloodless revolution on Liberty Bay, um, and uh, we'll, we'll have the camera sort of pull back a bit. Um, you can see the um, city at night. We'll say that um, at some point somebody just shoots off a flare um, into the sky um, and you hear shouting and cheers and everything. Yay! Um, you see Newland um, coming in and then pull further back and you can see... Um, you know, your own boat, Mother's Mercy, sort of lurking on the horizon, waiting for its signal okay. to come in. Uh, that will be the end of tonight's session. And uh, next week, I, I oh, believe, we will be putting our heroes back out to sea and to find out what happens next. Yep. Thank you for watching. Nice. Bye. <laughs>